Hello, welcome to this new video. I am Pedro Calado, I am half of the Calado brothers who run this channel. This zoo I've built it more than a year ago. It's called Tundra Template. It's a zoo without animals. I the reason I've built this zoo was thinking of players who don't like as much to build all the stuff, all the enclosures, sometimes get lazy. Myself, uh, sometimes back, I used to start a zoo and I was putting animals and I was thinking like oh, this zoo it will be awesome but uh, usually I would stop midway and would never finish. So I decided to build a complete zoo without animals so I could play sometimes putting different animals but mainly for to share I put this zoo a year ago in the round table forum uh, I have no idea how many people downloaded if any people downloaded I can't know that I don't have any ways to know that so I decided to open today and I made a few changes, just some tiny bits, like this door over here is a new door I've downloaded recently, so I changed the door, it was here in the front, it was a little bit weird, and this one fits very nice on this side. So here's the entrance, on this side there's a big building, you could put together a slow shop with a cafe, some something to eat. I've built this thinking that people might want to play for real, like with guests and stuff. I don't like guests, I keep my zoos closed. But if you, if you like, there's a little, some spaces you can build food plazas and there's a lot of efforts. So, coming here you have uh, three enclosures aviary. Here we have one, they are quite big. I have built this thinking of some big birds like eagles and owls and plumbery gear, I think. Alright, let's get back here. Let's go this way. And we have one here, one is on the other side, and one here. This place here will, will lead to the staff center. There's a little parking lot you, you saw in the beginning. No, you didn't saw at the beginning. I didn't show. But alright, I'll show it now. Let's go to the front door real quick. This is the staff gate. Remember? Alright. So coming from here, there's the staff parking and the main building. There's a reception and a little hall and two offices, like for the zoo directors, something like that. There's one office and this one. I really like this rock here. It looks very nice, I think. This is a food plaza, there is only benches and tables, you can put the food cards that you like. There's a bathroom here, and here we can go back to the zoo. Here's one bag space for two enclosures. I really like this glass fence, you can see everything in in the enclosure and these little uh, really really short fences don't get in the way when you're watching the animals you can see everything I like that so here are the aviaries I, I want to go that way so here we have two enclosures with water it's a little tank 
part and the land part is higher so you can go here and see everything uh, on this side of I was thinking on seals and others otters that's how you pronounce I think maybe a walrus I think it will look cool this building here is just for stuff you can put some benches and decorative things to look nice let me just get in here see it's not very big and I think it's a little bit deep I've kept all the enclosures very simple I don't I don't think it needs to be much detailed with much detail I think you can if you like of course you can put details or objects and stuff but I like to keep simple so you won't be very laggy and of course for the person who is playing you can also put the things you like and more like you so here we have some mammals spaces the zoo is more for mammals than anything uh, we have four aviaries you saw at the beginning but all of the rest is basic, basically for mammals uh, we have a sequence here we eight enclosures for probably hoofed mammals like boars, like ibex, sheep, deers, bisons and stuff like that and here in the middle we have three big enclosures with a barn, with a big barn. This part here I was thinking specifically for uh, the moose, and together with the mooses, the muskox, and the reindeer. There's a little bathroom here, and the more enclosures for mammals. It's a little bigger than the. the First one we saw this that side, and I will go inside the bar the barn so you can see how I built it. So uh, we have these little spaces you can put food and hay beds. You see that the same enclosure has two spaces the animals can go in. Uh, this one has only one. This is one enclosure with one indoor part. And this one has three indoors parts. See, there's three passages. This part right here, I was thinking of a big herd of muskoxes. Musk oxes. So here's the end of the hoofed mammals, probably. And here we start with the carnivores. I've changed the buildings for stone. I think it fits better. Here's a, another food plaza. And it's sequoia. This one right here, I was thinking of the brown bear, grizzly bear, whatever. But you can put anything you want. There's a little bathroom here, and on this side here, I'll, I think this enclosure right here is specifically for polar bears. I've, I've built the ground very low, there's a big pole, and I think it looks nice for polar bears. And this one right here I really like. It's, it seems like two enclosures, but there is it's just only one. You can see there's a passage there to this cave right here and there's another passage over there so the cave connects the both sides and I think grey wolves would fit very nice in here but of course you can put anything you like tiger maybe 
a a more leopard. I don't know. Uh, here we have a sequence of three enclosures. This one I was thinking also in big carnivores. There's a pit with water, so I I could put a, a small fence. This sequence here I was thinking of tigers and snow leopards, lynx, some animals like those. And to finish, we have four enclosures to some anything you like really. I think uh, rabbits, badgers, wolverines. Really, just go through your boreal forest and great forests, tundra, all the animals you have, so you can take a look and see what could fit. Oddly, I'm seeing, I didn't think in, in penguins for the zoo at all. I think I was thinking more like this is Canada or Scandinavia or something like that and it would be more appropriate to have more like local animals but of course you can put penguins in an enclosure like this just put the water or maybe those one with the tanks I said it's fit to seals and all others but of course you can put penguins over there in over there because it just like there can put penguins here. So that's it. We have a little more bathroom here and a second foot plaza. Here are here is the office I showed it earlier. That's it. I hope you like it. I hope you click on the link I will leave in the description. Also all of the objects I use here I will try to list them all, I don't know if I remember everything from which place I found it but there is some websites you can look for them it's, you can get most of them, probably and that's it hope you like it please uh, leave a comment and I can show you more templates I've made in the past a look on the map and that's it goodbye